Hey everyone, welcome back to the Bronco Garage. I'm Monster Mike, and today we're gonna to show you how to center your pitman arm with your steering box. Now, I've got a couple pieces of tape here and a pin. I'm gonna show you how I do this. First off, let's see how many turns this box is. All right, so we're gonna go all the way to one side all the way to full lock and when it stops we're going to get one of these pieces of tape we're going to hold it tight and we're going to find 12 o'clock on the steering wheel now that you got 12 o'clock you're going to make a center mark right in the middle of your tape so you know you're exactly at full lock all the way to the passenger side then this is the important part make sure you put a p on the piece of tape so you remember that this is all the way full lock passenger side now you're going to count every revolution until you get the other side. And this will tell you how many turns is in your steering box. One, two, three, four, five, about five and it's, it's not six, but it's almost six. Now that you've gotten all the way to the driver's side, you're gonna take your second piece of tape, hold your, hold your wheel tight, don't push on it too hard, just put it right at the end and mark, make another mark at 12 o'clock. You're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna make a center mark right down the center, and then you're gonna put a D on this one. Now, this is how you find center of your box. You're gonna go back the other way. One, two, now three would mean that you have a six turn box. So this would be complete center, but we're just a little below three. So we're gonna split the difference between full lock to driver's side and full lock to passenger side. So you can clearly see what this difference is. It's only a couple inches. So we're gonna get your P to go right here in between the two D and P pieces of tape. That is center of box right there. As you can see, the steering wheel is not centered with the box. And this is a great time to go ahead and pull the steering wheel off and clock it so it's completely center and you're going to want, in this case, where you have a three-spoke wheel and the Ford logo, you're going to want it sitting right here. So make sure you've got your steering wheel centered with your box first, and then, without moving the column, take your wheel off and then turn it and then re-bolt it, reattach it to the splines so it's perfectly centered with your box. And that's how you get your steering wheel, your box, your pitman arm, everything straight and perfectly dialed in with your Bronco. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll catch you next time.